ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਡੀਅਰ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਲੈਸਨ ਨੰਬਰ 9 ਦ ਆਉਲ ਬੋਏ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਟੇਲ ਆਫ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਵਿਚ ਬਿਲੋਂਗਸ ਟੂ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਲੈਟਸ ਸੀ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਬਸ ਆਫ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਐਂਡ ਨੋ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥੈਮ ਫਰਸਟ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਡੂ ਦ ਵਾਰਮ ਅਪ ਐਕਟੀਵਿਟੀ ਲੈਟਸ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਥੈਟ ਮੋਸਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਨਾਰਥ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਐਂਡ ਸਾਊਥ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਕੰਟਰੀਜ਼ ਵਰ ਹੋਮਸ ਟੂ ਸੈਵਰਲ ਨੇਟਿਵ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਬਸ the strong cultures these tribes were wiped out when the european settlers came and discovered the americas 15th century onwards here are the name of the some tribes and here we have to write the place where are they from the first tribe is given here shine this tribe belongs to north american the second one is apache apache tribe belongs to southwestern united states the third one is omaha omaha tribe belongs to nebraska loa and the last one is quechua quechua tribe belongs to bolivia now let's start reading once upon a time there lived a couple in a small village in southwest america they had a farm on which they grew maize they also had a vegetable farm on which they grew vegetables like beans and squash both the man and his wife worked hard on their farms and earned their living by selling the produce produce means vegetables grown on the farm they were happy and content with their life content means satisfied santusht they had a little boy whom both of them loved dearly despite being poor they did everything within their means to keep him happy all this love spoiled him the little boy often cried over the smallest things and would not stop until his demands were met this worried the man and his wife greatly come to the next page one day the boy demanded that a stable be built at the back of the house stable means jithe kode banne jande han horse the home father i want to keep a herd of horses in our stable i will play with them and ride them every morning and evening now the father was very worried there were barely enough food to feed themselves from where would he buy get the money to buy so many horses and feed them no my son we cannot afford to buy real horses but i will make you a wooden horse and you can play with it he said trying to convince the boy the boy had already made up his mind and nothing his father said made any difference he began crying and kept crying all day long his father and mother could not make him stop crying so finally in the evening they put him outside and shut the door for they could not stand his noise any longer but fearing that the boy would catch cold they soon got him inside and locked him in a room the boy however still did not stop crying all of a sudden the sky darkened as clouds gathered a storm raged from nowhere breaking open the door of the room then an owl swooped down and took the boy away after a while the father went to get his son because he thought the boy had stopped crying when he reached the room he saw that the doors of the room had been destroyed and the boy was not to be seen anywhere he looked all over the village and asked other people in the village about him but no one had seen him they looked for him in the fields under the moonlit sky and they looked for him in the trails of the appalachian mountain they were amazed that he had so much strength that he could break open locked doors 
The father did not know what to do, so he returned home every day, feeling engulfed by a great sadness. Engulfed means फंसे हुए हैं. Both he and the little boy's mother wept and mourned for their child. Mourned means felt extremely sad. Several days later, the father took his barrows to take the farm produce to the market. Barrows means small donkeys. He passed near the owl's cave. Cave means guffa. Where many owls lived, as he passed by, he heard his little boy's voice calling, "Father, father, here I am." Please take me home, father. He looked into the cave, but he could see only a parliament of owls up on the rock inside. There were so many that he could not even count. But there was one owl bigger than all the rest, and that owl said, "Don't you recognize me? I am your little boy, father. These owls have made me one of them." but i don't want to live here i want to go home and live with you and mother well come to me if you are my son replied his father no said another owl the the same owl that had taken the little boy away he cannot go with you unless he promises not to cry so much and be such a bad boy i promise i will be a good boy said the little boy owl i will behave and never beg such demands please let me go back well then you may fly down to your feather father well then you may fly down to your father and Now listen to me carefully. Your father must put you in the kiva. Kiva means a chamber built wholly or partly underground, and keep you there for four days. And if you have kept your promise to be good, then you will turn back into a little boy once more. So the father took the little boy owls by his wing and carried him home. He put him into the kiva as the old owl had told him to, and kept him there for four days. And sure enough, at the end of that time, the owl was a little boy again, and the little boy was good ever after. Thank you, students.